This is tutorial 2-5 in the GIS Tutorial 1 book. I'm on page 69, creating normalized and density maps. And I just glanced over at page 68 and I realized that I missed one of the steps there. They've got uh, vacant housing by county, they've got owner occupied by county and renter occupied by county. I did not do renter occupied by county. It's the exact same layer as uh, the other two, owner-occupied and vacant housing. Uh, the only difference is uh, the data that's used, and that is the renter-occupied field. So I have gone back and done that, and so now I have uh, renter-occupied by county, and that's turned off right now. If I turn that on, it should redraw the map for me, and uh, looks like we have much lower numbers for renter-occupied than we do for um, owner-occupied. So to get that extra layer in there, you'll have to go back and do the your turn on the bottom of page 65. It's pretty easy to do. And then we will have three layers here of counties in addition to our layer of cities. So now we're going to go to page 69, number one. We want to save this as tutorial 2-5. So file, save as. And I'm already in the GIS folder, so I'm going to change that to a 5 and click on Save. Turn on Vacant Housing by County and turn off Owner Occupied and Renter Occupied. So turn off Renter Occupied, turn off Owner Occupied, and turn on Vacant Housing by County. The Table of Contents, right-click the Vacant Housing by County layer, click Properties, and we're going to go to the general tab here and we're going to rename the layer percent vacant housing by county so instead of showing absolute numbers we're going to show percentages and that's what a normalized uh, graph means uh, you convert everything into percentages so you're comparing the same relative values if you have one county where you've got five units out of ten and another county where you've got 5,000 units out of 10,000. If you compare the absolute numbers, uh, the 5,000 is much, much higher. If you compare the percentages, uh, they're going to be the same. So this is an attempt to normalize the numbers so that you're comparing equal values or comparable values anyway. So we want to go to the Symbology tab. And we want to select in the normalization field. This is basically a field that just is used as a divisor. So we're going to take vacant and we're going to divide it by the number that goes into this bottom box here. And the number that goes in the bottom box is going to be HSE units. And I'm not seeing that. Uh, that's a zero, zero. Let's just see if we can find plain old HSE units. And it's right there. Click the Classify button and choose 5 as the number of classes. And for the classification method, choose Equal Interval. Click on OK. Click the Label Title. Right here is the Label Title, or I'd call it the Column Heading. And choose Format Labels. And choose Percentage under the Category. And now let's go to page 70. Number seven says select the radio button besides the number represents a fraction. Okay. Click the numeric options button, type one as the number of decimal places. Click OK. Click OK. Now I'm on the top of page 71. Click OK one more time. And this map is quite a bit different because now we're looking at percentages instead of absolute numbers. So the numbers here, you know, in the plain states might be low absolute numbers, but in terms of percentages, they're actually, uh, you know, quite a bit higher. Okay, now we're on page 71, create a density map. In the table of contents, right-click the percent vacant housing by county layer. 
and we're going to make a copy of it and go to edit and choose paste so now we've got a copy here we've got a copy down here we'll mess with the one on the top here and we want to rename this vacant housing density and hit enter let's right click on it and go to properties which is what they recommended that you do to change the title but you can also right click on it like I did over here click the symbology tab which is already selected click ALAND 10 Right there it is. And that's our normalization field, so it's going to divide vacant by that number. Click on OK. Turn to page 72. In the table of contents, right click US Cities. Go to label features. Now go to so now we've got our city names. Now let's go to bookmarks and select New York. And it says notice the high density of vacant housing units. Let's go back. Now we're on the top of page 73 on number seven. Go to bookmarks. Click on Los Angeles, and it says notice the density is not as high because the land area of Los Angeles is much greater than the land area of New York County. And that is the end of tutorial 2-5.